Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing my second ever Stitch With Me and we're working on this canvas here. So if you guys saw the um, me putting together the frame for this, I think this is zoomed out all it can be, yeah. Putting together the frame um, I put together, um, I showed you how to put in um, a cross stitch picture on that frame. And this was just like what, you know, a couple weeks ago maybe that I put this or a week or so ago, I don't know, um, when I uploaded the video for the frame for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I put this painting this uh, canvas on here, not a painting, but a canvas on here for a cross stitch and it's from Oraloa. So here's your picture so that you can see it. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. This is what the image is and it is from Oraloa um, who you guys know um, from Diamond Painting. Most of you know from Diamond Painting. Well, they've been doing, um, recently, they've been doing cross stitch and pixel art. So, um, yeah, of course, I love this company. So, um, I wanted to try out all their stuff. Love the pixel hobby stuff. Um, we'll be getting another one from them. Um, cross stitch, though, you know, I probably won't buy any more for a bit unless it stands out to me only because it's going to take me forever to get this done. <laughs> um, those of you who um, saw my first stitch with me video um, will know that I have not been, I, I, I cross stitched a long time ago, have just picked it back up recently. I am not very good at it. It does take me a long time. Um, I got this frame to help me because my hands are hurting and stuff like that. Um, but I'm still kind of trying to get the hang of it. Um, especially trying to do two-handed. So you will see this frame moving around a lot on the, on the camera here. Um, I'll be moving it, you know, so that I can angle it to do the best that I can. But, um, like I said, this is the image. Um, it's called Oraloa Love Island by Julie Korchesny. Um, it is a 40 by, 45 by 45 centimeter, uh, 14 count Ada. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, I have done some of this down here. A little bit here um, and then up there I did some blue I can probably pull it down so you can see it maybe up there I know it's getting darker because I'm really close to the camera now but I've I did some blue up there because and I did that because I had pulled the wrong color <laughs> um, today though I thought we would work on this section here which is a um, kind of like a, a lighter brown here. Um, and again, you know, bear with me. I am not very good at this. I will do my best, but um, yeah, I'm not very good. So I think what I'll do is, um, I think I'll start See, this is where it, this is where it gets confusing for me to start. Um, I think I'll start here and start here and go this way, come back this way, then go down to here and do like these two stitches and then do that across and then go up that way is what I think I'm going to do. And again, um, I am going to, this is going to take me, I, I will be moving this around so that I can reach back here um, 
I'm probably, my light is in the way, so I'll probably wind up hitting myself with, let me move the light just a tad bit so that it's not completely in my way. Okay. And I usually have my right hand in the back. That's my dominant hand. But I'm going to try to do this so that you guys can see it better. Um, and I'm going to move my camera because I should have... I should have realized this before I did it, but I will try to not make this unbearable for you guys to watch because <laughs> I'm not good with um, passing on the back side with my left hand um, and I'm not as close to it as I would like to be. So, um, you know, just bear with me. We're gonna, we're gonna get better at this together. So I'm doing the, the loop secure on this so that, um, I don't have as many ends on the back. Yeah. Hopefully it won't look terrible when I'm done. I have messed up a little bit. Um, I did notice that this, um, oh God, where am I at? I know where I should be, but whether or not I get the, get it in the hole correctly, is a whole nother situation. See, I am so not good at this with my left hand coming from the back. And look, I had my hand resting on it, so I pulled it, pulled the thread out of my needle already. Off to a great start, Stacy. <laughs> but you know what? That's what I love about crafting is, you know, everything that I've done crafting wise, I am self-taught. I did not have anybody teach me how to do any of this stuff. Um, same with crocheting and um, why does that not look like it's all the way down? I mean, I guess it is. But same with cro crocheting and knitting. I have not, never had anybody show me how to do it. I've just done it on my own. And learned on my own so um, you know with that you make mistakes you wind up um, you wind up not um, doing it as well as if someone taught you and I'm trying to be quiet because I know I am right next to the microphone but when I go back to edit this, I will check the volume of it and see how bad it is. And if I need to turn it down, I will. But I'm just warning you in case I forget or in case when I edit it, it sounds okay to me, but it's super loud to you guys. We'll see. I'm just kind of warning you. But as you can see, I am not very good at this. Um, I do enjoy it a lot. I think it's very fun to do. And I think that one of the reasons why I wanted to incorporate this on my channel, which is a diamond painting channel, um, I wanted to incorporate this on there because I, I feel like, and as we all know, um, so many people do cross stitch conversions. So I feel like these these um, go hand in hand, these two crafts. So for me, I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's a good thing to showcase both of them on the channel. Um, granted, there will be um, significantly less cross stitch on the channel than diamond painting, but um, I am working on getting a set schedule. 
Um, right now, my schedule is, you know, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and I just started doing Saturday as well. Um, so my plan is those four days. Um, for the time being, I don't plan on having any more days until I get used to that. Um, because I did try at one point to do more days, um, throughout the week and it was just, it was too hard. And I think I tried, I think I tried to do too much at one time. And, um, I decided, um, and I talked about this in my last video, so, you know, I'm just kind of reiterating what I talked about, but I decided that I didn't want my channel to be an unboxing channel. Um, I will have unboxings, obviously, but I wanted to have my channel be more, <clears throat> more the process and more, um, of us as a community, um, diamond painting together. So I hope that you guys stick around for that and, you know, I hope that this is so, the people that are new here are um, enthusiastic about it as well. Um, I, me, uh, I watch YouTube while I, while I diamond paint and while I, you know, do um, cross stitch or crochet or whatever. And the ones, you know, the stuff that I like to watch are, are videos that I can, um, I feel like I'm accomplishing something with the creator rather than just watching the creator, um, tell me stuff. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, without getting completely into it, like I have, um, in other videos, um, I'm kind of saying this so that you guys will know my, um, what I want, you know, for the channel or like my, my schedule for the channel. So currently, um, I'm doing four days and, uh, Basically, my Friday video, which is when this is going up, is my, what I'm deeming my Anything Goes video. So, on Fridays, you might get cross stitch, you might get an unboxing, you might get, um, uh, like a DP with me, you, you know what I mean? Like, you might get a completion. Um, Fridays are anything goes, um, Saturdays are going to be the relax with me's videos, the relax with me videos. Um, and typically, well, right now, anyway, I am doing, um, for, right. I have like a knot or something there. Yeah, I see it. I don't know if I can fix that. I have a knot somewhere else on this too. That, um, oh, I think I split it. I think that's what it is. I went up through this. And kind of split it but I do have knots on this already so like this this canvas here I'm you know I'm gonna ignore that but this canvas here is my um, basically a practice canvas for me that is way too far away that is not the right spot that I need to be in um, I'm still I hate pulling it all the way through only because it's so hard for me to find the spot that I need to go back into. Like I never line my hand back up 
where it's supposed to be. I'm always like way far off. And I don't know why I do that. I don't know why my perception of where my hand is supposed to be is so off. It's not like that with my right hand, but where my camera's at, um, for now, I can't pull with my right hand. Um, so, <clears throat> I keep meaning to, I mean, I know I've, I've talked about it before where I want to um, rearrange my office and I keep putting it off. I don't know why I keep putting it off. It's it's not intentional. I don't intentionally put it off. I think I do it because I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, I have been spending way more time um, than normal diamond painting which is good because I'm getting more stuff done. However, um, I'm trying to get that done and then I'm also trying to, you know, play video games and stuff too because I love that. So I'm, try I'm trying to do a lot on my days off um, from my actual job. Um, and so sometimes it's a little a little bit more difficult for me to do the stuff that I I need to do and rearranging my office is one of the things that I need to do and haven't done yet but it is Thursday that I'm recording this so I mean maybe maybe I can get it done this weekend we'll see um, maybe I can get it done So, and I haven't asked yet. How are you guys doing? I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore you guys. I am like so focused on this because I can't find the holes very well. And it's not that I can't see them. I can see them. I'm just farther away than I I want to. And typically, I would have this kind of this way, and I would be going left to right this way. But um, that doesn't work for where I have my camera stand at. So I need to I need to um, change that. Oh, I did it too far away from myself. Did I mess that up? No. Okay. I swear, you know, you watch these videos, or at least I do. I watch videos of people. Um, doing cross stitch and they're so good at it they're so fast they get through sections so quickly and I am just not there yet I will be you know it takes time I will be but um because I do enjoy it and I know that when I get faster it'll be even more more enjoyable so but yeah, usually my hand, I'm feeding from the front with my left hand and passing on the back with my right hand. And But I can't do that with my camera there. I think I just split that thread too, but oh well. Like I said, this is, this is a practice canvas. I got it because I love, you know, love the surfer stuff and I wanted to um, try out a cross stitch from Orloa so I got it. It's a pretty big one to have a be a practice canvas though I will say but I feel like um, I feel like this will give me the most practice if I do a little one which I am kind of like in the middle of doing a little one I don't feel like that is going to be enough and I also feel like because I'll complete it faster that I might wind up <clears throat> feeling a little more confident than I should be 
and then go on to a canvas that I'm really, uh, really want to um, have it all nice and pretty. And then I'll mess it up because I won't be as good as I thought I would be. So. The back of my canvas doesn't look too bad. I do have threads on the front of my canvas. That's because I have um, I haven't cut them away yet until I um, go over them to kind of hold them in place. But the back of my canvas doesn't look too bad. I can kind of turn. Maybe I can turn it so that you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It doesn't look too bad, so I'm okay with that. I do have some. That looks, it does look a little crappy in some areas, but it's not too bad. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And I think that, like I said, I think that the more practice I get, the better, better I'll be. Oh, I just passed that out. The one that I just put it in, like dumb. Stacy, goodness gracious. I should have gone the other way. Why did I not go the other way? Like I did on the other one. Oh well, that's alright. I'll go this way. And then we'll go this way here. And I'm not talking that much because I, like I said, I'm concentrating because I'm not as good at this as I would like to be. I would like to be a lot better, but, you know, I diamond paint way more than I do cross stitch. And I also need to, I'm in the middle of <clears throat> making a lapgan for... Um, someone for Christmas and I want to make sure that I have enough time to get that one done as well so I just have a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff and I'm sorry that I I just realized like I did like a, I kind of smacked my lips a, mi a little bit and I'm sure that that was really loud in your ears, so I apologize for that. I am literally right next to the microphone on my camera, so I have no idea how loud this is going to be <laughs> until I edit it, so I apologize for that. But yeah, I'm in the middle of working on a lap GAN, and we're almost in November, and I've got to get it done. It won't take me that much longer. I just have to find time in order to get it done. That's all. And, um, gosh, see, I was just trying to find the hole all the way up here and I put it in. I was all the way down at the bottom. I don't know why I have such a hard time finding where that's supposed to go. I'm doing it the other way. It's not that bad. Get in the hole. See, if I turn it this way, you're not going to see as much. But I can kind of show you that I am a little bit faster if I'm working this way. So you can see me. I'm right down here. And if I go through, let me just get myself situated maybe maybe not now I'm gonna prove to you guys that I'm not as fast because I can't find the stupid hole there we go there's the hole now I should be able to go faster this way at least a little bit faster Maybe not. Maybe not. I 
I don't know why I have to feel like I have to prove to you guys that I can actually go faster. And I just pulled the string out of my thing. See, because I got nervous. I got nervous because I was like, look, I can actually do this. And I need to just not worry about stuff like that. I don't know why I do. I think we, maybe, maybe it's not just me. Maybe we all worry about ridiculous things like that. I mean, if you guys are watching this video, then you're gonna, you're gonna watch it no matter what, right? So just go back to doing what I was doing and not worry about it. Right? This canvas, though, I will say this. God, that was loud, I'm sure. I will say this. That this canvas is, um, it's hard to find the holes. Like, the holes feel, like, the actual weave of the canvas doesn't feel strong. Um, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel strong at all. So like sometimes when I put the needle in, it's not in the hole. It's like right to the left or the right of the hole. And that makes it super difficult sometimes when I'm trying to um, put it in the proper spot. And I don't know, um, I, I usually do count across stitch. So um, this is only like maybe the second or third time that I've done one that's got a printed canvas. And I don't know, maybe there's something with the ink that they use on the canvases that make them not as fused, if that's the right term. Um, because it just seems like the cross pattern or like the weave, right? The So the weave of it. So if you see the, the bar there, you know you've got your four holes. One, one, two, three, four, like that for your square. The the pieces that are in the middle feel like they don't feel like they're that tight. Like I could, it's not that difficult to misplace that, um, strand. So, and see, I barely did anything and we're almost at a half an hour. So what I'm going to do probably is just get through this row and then call it a day because I don't want to bore you guys too much. <laughs> I say that because it's not, you know what I mean? Like if you're watching the video, you're, you know, if you're bored, you're going to click away. So if you're still here watching this, then thank you. I appreciate it because like I said, um, I want this, I want my channel to be somewhere where, you know, people can hang out, you know, and you don't have to comment. I know that I, I tell you guys to leave comments all the time and I love it. I do, but you don't have to. Um, I, you know, it's nice that you do. I appreciate it. I love them. I'm not going to say that I don't, but I also know that, um, you know, that's not everybody's deal. Not everybody likes to leave comments. Um, so in that case, if you don't want to leave a comment, just hit the like button. You know, you don't have to do all of them. You don't have to hit the, the like button, leave a comment, and hit the bell. Although, you know, I'm not going to be against that either. <laughs> but the truth is, is that, you know, if you... If you're watching this video and you're not bored, you haven't turned away, then consider giving it a like. Um, because
because it does help. The more likes you get, the more um, YouTube they will recommend it to other people. And that helps the channel grow and helps our community get better, bigger. Um, and that's always a good thing. So just consider it. It's all I can ask for, right? I know that with me, when I watch YouTube videos, um, if I watch, because I do, I watch videos in their entirety. Even if I'm not really into them, I'll watch the whole thing to um, help that channel uh, with their watch time hours. And, um, but, you know, it has to be something that's, um, I don't say, I, that's not the right way to say that. I feel like, um, leaving a like, um, on videos all the time is good, but I also feel like, um, that it's not necessary, you know? I feel bad sometimes asking for likes and stuff, um, but, you know, if I wanna grow the channel, that's what YouTube requires, you know? Likes and subscriptions. Watch time hours, likes and subscriptions. I think sharing the video helps too. Um, but I don't know how much of the algorithm is that anymore because um, I don't see people sharing videos that much. Um, but maybe it's because I'm not really on social media at all. I do have an Instagram for this channel, but I haven't posted on there in a very long time. And I, I don't plan on it, really. Um, it's too much. I always forget about it. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just jabbering now. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, huh? But almost done and I will get out of your hair. Got two more crosses to do and we'll be done. Or at least done with this row and done with the video. And then I gotta edit. So let me go through here and go up on the next row so that I don't lose my needle to the back. Alright guys. So, to recap, we did a little bit of this section here. Just this light brown here. So not much, but that's because I'm slow. I will get there. Don't you worry. <laughs> I will get there and things will be... Uh, they'll look good. They'll be better. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. Um, I love that you guys, you know, still come and watch my videos because sometimes I feel so like I like I don't know what's going on. Alright, um I am zoomed out all the way, so I'm gonna move my camera back a little bit like so so that you guys can see this picture again. This is what we were working on from Oraloa and it is called Oraloa Love Island by Julie Corchesney. And I hope you like it. Eventually, I will get it done. It's a 40 by, 45 by 45, so eventually I will get this done. But that's what it looks like. And I hope you guys liked it. And again, uh, leave a like, leave a comment if you want to. Give me a week to get back to you guys. And if you are a subscriber, hit that bell button if you'd like, and that'll send you a notification on when 
my next video goes up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, it does help out the channel, helps me out, helps our community grow. And yeah, so thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.